I think the main difficulties is uh, related to the poverty, uh, because as you know, some of the people are going inside the protected areas, some of people are living around the countries, are practicing the, you know, the bushfire, uh, and uh, we are facing also uh, the problem of uh, bushmeat, uh, because they, they, they are lack of uh, protein, so they, they are trying to, 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 to kill lemurs or turtles or some endemic species in Madagascar because they are poor. I think this is the, 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 the one of the challenges of Madagascar is how to to, to, to cope with the food security itself because uh, if we are not uh, having a food security strategies we cannot say to these people don't go inside the protected areas don't cut the wood don't uh, burn the, the the forest because the thing is that they are doing this this bad practices because they are trying to find a way to to fight against poverty and then to to find some foods just to survive And we have a lot of uh, efforts to, to do here in Madagascar because, as I said, there is a poverty. There is a poverty for people, but there is a poverty for the administration itself uh, because we, we are uh, like we have uh, not enough uh, materials like uh, logistics, like cars, like uh, the motorbike for uh, the patrol. Because, as you know, we have a, a kind of rangers uh, who are working uh, within these parks. So, here in Madagascar, the for me, the, the, the challenge is how to give this uh, for the people working within the ministry, how to give them the sufficient materials to, to work with. Mm -hmm.